Good morning. Um, I was just going to start a vlog this morning and I decided to go ahead and do the vlog after I done my makeup because you guys have seen me do my makeup before. It's like, whatever, you know how I do my makeup. But um, I just wanted to show you my uh, easy outfit of the day. It's still a little chilly here. It's in the 40s. And so I'm just, you know, wearing jeans. They're Hudson jeans. My faux Gucci belt that I got on Amazon like years ago. I don't know. I don't think they still sell it, but I'm sure you could find it. I'll try to find some and link them. And then this sweater, which is, I believe, Mirakiti. And it's a little bit longer in the back, which is so great. And of course, you can just wear it down like this. But I just, I love this sweater so much. Um, I got it in orange as well. Oh, my mirror's dirty. I didn't realize that. And then those are just, you know, some house shoes to, to wear. Oh, good morning, Daisy. Um, So I'm in what used to be my office, which is now my husband's office. And I'm going to actually take you here. So this is my office now and it is kind of dirty. Let me turn the camera to the side. Yep. So MTV, welcome to my crib. <laughs> um, so this is my office now and I've got it switched around. This is a gray color. It's coming off kind of green in the camera, but it's not. Um, so I got my all my pictures there and then you just walk right in and there's my desk and I'll tell you what it is like kind of messy in here it's not really dirty it's just messy and I'll tell you why in a second um, I've got a little fan up there we're going to be putting in a fan um fan light up there uh just a bag that I carry books in to the coffee shops that me and my niece go to and then I brought this lamp in here which I don't know if that's going to stay it it's kind of in the way I don't know so then you just keep going around. I've got my like craft area. I've got my printer and um, you know, this is like all like office supplies, um, some vinyl that I use with my Cricut, some cardstock, just the like stuff that you use with your Cricut. Um, and up here is just all my, all the stuff that I use on the regular plus like this, like from here over is like pictures and um, stuff like that. And then I made that sign and the little pot is pink because pink pinkish purple, mauve pink is what I was going for in here. Um, and then over here, this is um, butcher paper to use with my heat press, which you do not see in here because it's not in here yet and it may not, we'll see. And then this like bag of stuff is gonna be going into the closet. Um, but that is all my like stands, my, my um, tripods and stuff for filming. And this shelf right here is like memorabilia stuff. Um, as you can see, like with my salon, um, thing that my, my parents had made one year for me for Christmas. Um, so it's like memorabilia from here down. <laughs> and this is just like grandparents stuff. This is dog stuff, all the dog handprint or <laughs> paw prints, handprints, whatever. And fun fact about me, I used to collect pigs. You guys probably didn't know that, um, but I collected pigs and this is one of like the only ones I have left and he or she, whatever, it's just a classic. Like I just, I just love it. It's just so cute. And then that little dog I've had since I was like 10, maybe I bought it at a, at the balloon festival, um, where we used to live when I was little. And it was like, I'd saved up my money and I was just, you know, I was going to get something and I just loved this little dog. So that's that. And then we'll keep going around and then in, in the closet is where I have purses right now for a minute. And I have them sitting on a dust bag because, you know, I just don't ever trust like paint to not stick to the bottom of purses or whatever. And I just have the few books, like books that I have left. That's just a box of um, stuff that came with us that is like memorabilia from our first dog that had passed away. Um, but she was our second dog. And then in here is where I have my SLGs because um, they all fit in this bag organizer. So when I'm not using that, that's what that is. And then when you keep coming around, you have um, an everything give thanks and just a little bit of fun stuff to do. I think I want to add one more thing like right here, like maybe a longer piece of art right there. What do you guys think? Um, you can see on the hallway, I still have, <laughs> that's my light box. So I actually don't have that in here at the moment, but I probably will when I uh, turn the camera around and film. And then down here is the rest of the supplies <laughs> that is going to go in here. So I have a bookshelf that's coming that is you know, about that length and pretty tall, about to here, I think, on height. Uh, it's going to have five tiers. I'll show you guys uh, when I get it because I'll get it on Monday. So it'll probably be next week that I show you. Um, but that'll hold like these baskets of stuff. I'll be able to put some like decorative stuff out. So like this picture that I always have of me and Justin out. Um, so I'm excited to do that. And then I didn't show you over here, but that's like the last few purses that I have hanging. So there's like two purses, um, a couple of totes, and then, you know, all my straps, which there's not that many straps left. Let me pull those out. Oh, I have a tote bag on it. 
I didn't realize that. But yeah, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four. This actually goes with the speedy five. And then I have six, seven. I feel like I have one more. Oh yeah, eight. Yep. So this is that North Face backpack I told you guys about of like what I brought with us when we traveled this summer and um, absolutely love that backpack. It's phenomenal. So once I get this all organized and put in here, what might happen is the heat press might go here. Um, I have a, an old sewing table that I found this just uh, back in December, I think. I've shown you guys it. I'll pop a picture in here, but it'll go here because I painted the bottom. It was all wood. I painted the bottom white and kept the top the like wood and then I added new silver like hammered hardware to it and I think it turned out amazing however I measured it will fit right here I actually have tape on the ground you can see it I have tape like right here of where it would sit along here um I don't know why there's tape right there I can't remember what that was for but anyway it'll fit right there in the height and all that and then the heat press can sit on top of it probably on this side of it and my thought was just to be able to have everything kind of together so when I am crafting and I need my heat press it's right there I don't have to wait right now it's in the uh, old office and I don't know I just I while I don't use it let me flip the camera around um so while I, what I was saying is while I don't use it all that often my heat press um when I do use it I like really use it and it's nice to have everything right here I'm one of those people like when I want to use something and I don't know. I just like all my little stuff to be together. And I gotta say, I really, really love this office setup even more than I liked the other one, um, the, my old one, because that, that one was just so, <laughs> this sounds so silly because it's a, it's a mobile home, but it was so big and it was just, um, it didn't feel, it didn't have the right feel. And if you know what I'm talking about, then you know. Uh, so to me, it just didn't have the right feel, but it works so much better for my husband and the business that he's working with and the people come over here some and work in that office and so here i was a single one person in that office and some days i didn't even go in there and so i felt really bad because they'd have three to four people sometimes in this little tiny space and it was just too crowded and i just i felt terrible i couldn't do it and i i told my husband like at the very beginning i told my husband like are you sure you don't want the bigger office he's like no you got more stuff like for your crafting stuff whatever well, I mean, as you guys know, I've gotten, I've downsized a ton of stuff and like crafting supplies is one of those things. It was one of those things that I was holding on to, like, um, just in case, like just in case I need this. Well, I found so many supplies, like I found so many craft supplies that I have had for years and have literally never used. And I had to truly like ask myself, why am I holding on to this? And it comes down to, uh, my scarcity mindset. I... I live in survival mode and I'm trying to break that cycle because I've just had so many people that have passed away unexpectedly that um, it, like to me I have to survive every day and we are not promised tomorrow and like the Bible talks about that like nobody's promised tomorrow so it's just like I know this stuff and I'm trying to like know it you know. Um, Thank God for counseling. If you haven't gone to counseling and you're on the fence about it or you're nervous, like I just can't encourage you enough to find a counselor and interview counselors, like find the one that's right for you. So I am going to leave that there. I have gotten ready for the day. My niece and I are going again. She's on spring break, she's a teacher. So we are going to go one last time. It's Friday today, uh, Friday the 7th, I think. And so we are going to go uh, to another coffee house and a uh, bookstore that she loves. Um, so she's just kind of showing me the ropes of different places that she loves and I'm super excited. Something I didn't tell you guys about her is that she, um, like I said, she's a teacher. She's a teacher and she went to Guatemala last semester and she um, worked uh, teaching English as a second language and a couple days ago, I think it was now, she and I went to uh, back to a coffee house that we've been to multiple times now that we really, really just love the feel of it. And she was like, oh, I have something for you. I was like, oh. Oh, oh, for me? Okay. And she handed me these handmade pieces from Guatemala, which I just think are so cool and so special. One is this scrunchie, which is like so cute. Um, and I just, I think it's so cool that it's handmade. And the other is this little um, pouch. And I love the colors of this. And you guys see like the pinks and the purples and the greens and the blues just offset it so beautifully. Like, I love it. And then inside was some uh, Guatemalan money. So their money is called Quetzal. And it is like super cheap over there. But anyway, she brought me some of the, like 
like money pieces and stuff. And I don't know, I just always think that's super cool to have. And so this will become one of probably my staple SLGs in purses that I carry because I think it's just so cute. Not only do I think it's cute, but I love having stuff that somebody has intentionally given me. Um, if it brings a purpose to my life and this will, because I can, I can incorporate this into my purses, but I love it that every time I use it and I pull it out, I'll think of her and I'll say a little prayer for her. And, um, anyway, I just thought it was cool. So one other big change in my life. And in my last vlog, I just talked about like, don't take away my creamer. Well, my trainer has been on me for a while about like creamer in my coffee. That's like so much sugar and I'm sure fat and whatever. And of course, and like, because we've cleaned up our diet inside, I'm like, don't take away like the only things that I love, which is like creamer. We eat like pecans and grapes as, um, like snacks. And there was one other thing of like cheese and all that. And most people that do any kind of training are going to tell you to give that or go low fat with that. And I will not do, I personally will not do low fat diet soda, diet, anything like I'm, I'm done with that. I did that in Weight Watchers. Yes, it worked. However, your body, your body is like, looking for those calories and I don't know it's weird and the science is there and so I just I just can't do it plus the chemicals that go into making it like low fat is just just crazy um so I have recently and by recently I mean like this week stopped using creamer <laughs> I thought I was gonna hate it like absolutely hate it but when I changed my mindset about it I was like okay like this is what I need to do and I'm hoping that like the scale will now move because I've been kind of plateaued at the same place and I'm working out and I am, I know I'm gaining muscle, so that's part of it, but it's just like ugh, frustrating, right? You want to see that scale move. Even if you are like gaining some muscle, you should be losing fat. And I know that muscle weighs more, but takes up less space. And so like, I'm grateful for that, but I'm, and my clothes are like totally fitting differently. I've had to get rid of a ton of stuff because it's too big and it looks like baggy and whatever. Plus I just feel better. So I'm not trying to hide in my clothes. I'm wearing stuff that's a little bit uh, more shape fitting, um, form fitting. And so that's not really good. Um, but like this past week we did my measurements again at, at the gym and I was down, but it wasn't the amount that I wanted to see down. Right. Like I want to see like an inch and a half in a month, just like gone. Well, probably creamer is not helping that because of the sugar. So I am now just doing, um, my coffee, a little bit of honey, like a little bit and half and half. And I actually do not hate it. This is, this is what I'm drinking today. And honey just sweetens it up. Now, if I'm going to use a, like a sweetener, that's not honey, it would be stevia. That's the only sweetener that I use. So anywho, that's my little chitty chat um, for today. But I did order a purse off of, I think this one was on Poshmark. I think it was Poshmark. So I'm going to open it now with you guys. I have not opened it yet. I opened the package to kind of feel it but I did not take it I didn't take it out of the box or whatever so this is the strap I believe I'll open that in just a second but this is the purse itself and I also brought my stuff so I can show you like what fits um but anyway it is a coach purse I cannot remember the name of it I'll have to look it up and insert it right here for you oh it's sorry it's cute okay yep I actually already accepted it on Poshmark because I hate to make the sellers wait for me to, I think you only get three days to like accept or reject whatever you purchase. And so I was like, well, I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to be able to film opening it. So I better just accept it. It wasn't super expensive, uh, especially compared to like Louis Vuitton and all that. Um, but let me see what the name of it is. Hmm. So this is called the Coach Lucy Crossbody. Isn't it so cute? Yes, another black purse because I for sure know that I am going to love a black purse. There was this one that kind of has like houndstooth on the, the flap and around the like main body part. And then this this right here was just black, but, and I, I almost got that one, but I was like, I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. Like that, like black and gray, it looks more gray. I'll put a picture of it here. The gray is something that I don't really wear. And I, I don't know, it's really cute and, if I got the one that was black and gray, I would return this or not return it. I would sell this one, but for now I'm not. So this is super cute. Let me see what the measurements are. Um, so it's eight and three fourths inches, six and one fourth inch and three and a fourth inch wide. And it is just adorable. Very, very like minimal with branding and all that. That's, that's a little bit more branding than I would actually even want. However, I was okay with it because it's coach. It's not like 
Louis Vuitton, Hermes, Chanel, whatever. So it's not like really loud. Um, and then it does have a removable, obviously, strap and on the back and there is a pocket in the back which is really really great so then it opens up and it has two magnets right there you open it up and it has the magnets here and then you have this front part right here which is awesome and then inside you have it's divided in two and then there is a zipper pocket you can see that in the back back here and the person selling this bought it i think used it once or never and uh just decided that she didn't like it or didn't she didn't need it I think it was her description was here's the purse that I just had to have and I was like man that resonates so hard with all of us who love purses so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just point the camera down and show you kind of what fits and we can go from there we'll say this this interior I think is microfiber or fabric lining it just says fabric lining so I don't know this is uh, pebble leather and that and that nice and I'll just tell you what like these coaches just killing it they're killing it so let me um let me point the camera down and show you what fits. Okay, so I just brought my purse in to grab stuff out. And here's my, you know, Emprunt business card holder. Um, and I'm gonna probably have to move some things around just to figure it out. My six key ring holder, this just slides in the back right there. Um, I have some hand sanitizer. Just put that in the front. I've got my AirPods, which go with me everywhere. And I think even these I could probably hang off the side if I wanted to. I am always afraid that this is gonna open and drop my AirPod out, but this can go right there on the side. So that's perfect. And I didn't show you guys, but the strap is here. And so it's just like a um, fabric strap, which is a great strap to have that can go on in many different purses. Um, I have another like card holder. And that could just slide. I mean, that could probably just slide back here. I typically don't use these pockets right here where the zip is just because, I don't know, I don't want to bulge it out any more than I have to. And that is pretty much what I carry on the daily. Here's what's crazy is I cannot find my um, my little thing that carries, carries all my medicine, like my headache medicine and stuff. It's around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Um, and then here's just some like little odds and ends that could fit in there, but I do want to grab, well, I want to grab a couple other things. So here's the mini pochette. And that does fit. I think it fits better going this way, but that does fit in there. And my hand sanitizer is right next to it. So all my, my little catch-all. So if I wanted to put this stuff in here, I could. And I don't even have to close it, but it does close. So that's really cool. That's good to know. If I take that out and the hand sanitizer goes elsewhere, um, which it could probably lay on top, but for now we'll just set it aside. This is my sunglass holder from Rough and Tumble. That also fits right there. The cash pack from Rough and Tumble also, also fits right there, but pretty much takes up that whole spot. Here's the toiletry 19 that is a little bit smushed right now. And let's see. Um, you can like push it down in there, but it is too tall for it. But don't you just love that black and LV print? <laughs> but that's too tall for it. Here's my compact zippy wallet, which I have really considered selling this and getting the Dami I've been one because I do love that. And of course that fits right there in the front, like perfectly, which is great. Cause if I do change this wallet, you want to make sure it fits in like some of your smallest purses. And of course my new little Guatemalan pouch fits right there. Actually that fits right there in the front, just like that. So that's perfect. So I would carry it with this in it. Like, what if I set it up like that, will it close? No, nope. So set up like this, it can't. This cannot close. But it's all right. It sits down like that. I really liked it like this. And then usually I do carry a pen, um, but I always make sure to carry it in a spot where if it leaked, it's not a big deal. So that all fits. No problem. And those buttons seem to kind of find itself. Those little magnetic closures. You see that but they do it's like magnetic but also you kind of have to push that push it into it let me show you from the side so you kind of have to find where it can close so that is the coach lucy how freaking cute is that okay so that's the coach lucy um it is so cute and i i can't show you this because youtube won't won't allow it but I did rearrange some things and everything that was in there um, still fits in there plus my PPO so there you go that is a requirement for me for 
pretty much all of my purses. So um, this is such a cute purse. Like I said, they have it in the black and gray. They have like a camel brown with like a dark tan brown. So cute, uh, which I also thought about getting that, but I was like, hey, how about I get just get one and see if I like it, see if the size works. Um, and then like I showed you this, this strap. Let me see if I can show you how it fits, like how it sits on me. Um, okay, so this is at the longest. Let's see if I can back up without coming into some stuff. This is at the very longest. It sits below my hip. Um, and it actually, oh, let me swap it over. Um, you can get it to set up here. And then if I shorten it all the way, it becomes more of a like shoulder carry. Um, which I think is really, really cute. So if you were looking at that purse, there you go. I haven't seen, I did not see a whole lot of reviews on it. And, um, I just went for it cause I wanted to try it. I thought it was so cute, very classic looking. So huh, I think I covered it all. So anyway, I'll take you around with this a little bit today. Um, so you can see some new aesthetic and hopefully you've enjoyed this and I will talk to you in just a little bit. to a bookstore and we got mystery books and they have a description on the front and then just a price on the back and so we each chose one mine is a young woman tries to solve a murder from five years ago even though everyone thinks the case is closed so let's find out what it is this is so fun <laughs> what did you get? a good girl's going to murder Ooh, that, sounds that, sounds that sounds fun and fun. it's by holly jackson i'll read it and let you guys know Okay, mine is a man on houseboat hands out books so he doesn't have to think about his own broken heart. So sad. <laughs> so sad. So, so sad. sad. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited with mine. It looks good. I know. <laughs> the Little oh, Paris yeah. Bookshop. That's like perfect for you. Yeah, I love that. By the way, this is my niece, Brianna. <laughs> you guys haven't met her, but we found out a lot, so. Okay, just wanted you guys to see that fun little bit. So I was just finishing editing up um, my like vlog for this this week and I realized that I didn't really end it. Um, that was on Saturday we went, no, Friday that we went around and you know saw the shop dog and did all that and um, went to the coffee house and went to the bookstore and it was super fun. And then I completely forgot to record anything from Saturday, which I really didn't do anything on Saturday. It was amazing. I try to take one day each weekend and do like nothing. And that was yesterday because today is Sunday and it's Easter. So we're going to go be with family later today and um, hang out over there. But I just wanted to kind of wrap it up and say, I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing our trip. You got to meet my niece. Um, so our trip to go down and do all the stuff that we did and um, I'll talk to you next time. Bye. on a system or the the coins um let's see what else okay. and we put it on this side so that the, the light isn't there we go I didn't want the shadow Talk to you later.